One key enhancement to Horizon 7.4 along with the 4.7 version of the clients is session collaboration. With this feature, users can invite other users to join a remote desktop session. This new feature expands the Horizon architecture to allow a user to share their remote desktop session with colleagues for the purposes of viewing and interaction. This is not intended to be a replacement solution for conferencing software such as WebEx. The following is required to use session collaboration. Horizon Client version 4.7 for either Windows, Mac, or Linux endpoint devices. HTML access version 4.7 can also be used if enabled. A maximum of five users are supported by default, and you can increase that to 10. The Horizon Agent version 4.7 is needed, and both the VDI and RDSH deployment scenarios are supported. Session collaboration feature must be enabled at the desktop pool or form level. Group policy settings are used to configure the feature. Horizon 7.4 connection servers, the enterprise edition license is required, and lastly, the blast display protocol is needed. The session collaboration feature must be enabled at the desktop pool or form level, and group policy settings are used to configure this feature. Limitations of this feature as of Horizon 7.4 include only the primary monitor is usable when session owners have multiple monitors in place. There is no support for PC for IP nor RDP display protocols, only BLAST. H.264 hardware encoding is not supported. Session owners with hardware encoding capabilities will fall back to software encoding when a collaborator joins the session. Anonymous collaboration is not supported. Session collaborators must be identifiable through Horizon supported authentication mechanisms. Collaborators must have Horizon client version 4.7 for Windows, Mac, or Linux installed, or they can use the HTML access 4.7 if enabled. Finally, this feature cannot be used with published applications. The following information should not be confused with limitations. These restrictions are by design and apply solely to collaborators. Session owners can continue to use these features. Collaborators cannot change the remote desktop resolution in a collaborative session. These remote desktop features cannot be accessed by collaborators. To start a collaborative session and send invitations, first access the VMware Horizon collaboration icon located in the system tray. Then, usernames of the collaborators are entered into the dialog box with three invitation methods to choose from. The invitations can be sent by email, via instant message, or by copying a link to the clipboard and forwarding the link to the users. Selecting the email method requires an email application to be installed and configured within the virtual desktop. Likewise, to use the IM invitation method, Skype for Business must be installed and configured. To join a collaborative session, users click the link in the collaboration invitation. The Horizon client is initiated or the web browser is started, depending on which link is selected. Credentials are then provided to log into the Horizon client or web browser. Once authenticated, the collaborative session begins and the session owner's remote desktop is displayed. To leave the collaborative session, users can click Options, then Disconnect from the Horizon menu bar. Session owners can transfer keyboard and mouse control to collaborators using the collaboration icon located in the system tray. To return keyboard and mouse control to the session owner, use the collaboration icon and toggle the control switch to the off position. Session owners can forcibly take back control by either typing, double clicking, or double tapping with the touch screen. Ending collaboration through the UI automatically revokes the invitations and disconnects all collaborative users. The collaboration session automatically ends if the session owner disconnects or logs off. From the Horizon 7 administrator console, administrators observe a single desktop session of the primary session owner when collaborators are connected. Now it's time to see session collaboration in practice. User 1 starts things off by establishing a remote desktop session. Once in the virtual desktop, the Horizon collaboration icon located in the system tray is accessed to invite collaborators to the session. The invitee username is entered into the dialog box. Invitations can be sent using three methods. For this demo, email was used Session collaboration automatically shares the remote desktop when the invitation method is selected. 
There's a desktop icon that appears to indicate this. User 2 receives the email invitation and clicks on the link to access the session using the Horizon client. A notification appears letting the session owner know a collaborator has joined. Collaborators can experience the remote desktop with the same level of performance as the session owner using the BLAST display protocol. BLAST extends collaboration to high-end graphics scenarios and users such as designers, educators, and healthcare workers. User 1 now passes keyboard and mouse control to User 2 by toggling the control switch to the on position. User 2 now has control over the session. Only one user at a time can control the session. User 1 takes back control by double clicking within a session. Other methods for resuming control include typing or double clicking using a touch screen device. User 3 is invited to participate and will receive an email invitation much like User 2. User 3 joins the session by selecting the web browser link User 1 now hands over input control to User 3. Once again, User 1 regains control, then removes all users from the collaborative session. This feature is enabled in the desktop pool settings. Be sure to enable HTML access if you want to include this option in the invitation. For RDSH, enable this feature within the form settings. Besides email, IM and copy link are two other methods for inviting users to take part in session collaboration. Ending a collaboration through the desktop icon automatically revokes the invitations and disconnects all collaborative users. Lastly, the collaboration session automatically ends if the session owner disconnects or logs off. Thanks for watching.